Yes, the Bears will win this Sunday. Sports Talk Chicago here with John Zagloo. Many people may not agree, but I can see a path in which the Bears do win. They upset San Francisco to start out their season 1-0. We're going to explain why in just a second. New to the channel, subscribe, set up notifications, hit that like button so you don't miss a thing. Talk Chicago Bears daily. We even have interviews with former Bears players and media members who cover the Chicago Bears. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram at John Z Sports and on Facebook at John Zagluo. Want to watch more of this program? Head on over to sportstalkchicago.com. Want to start today with this. Finally, football is back. <laughs> On off season, we speculated, we predicted, we made power rankings. We evaluated the Bears and their development of Justin Fields and the new regime. Now the day is finally here. This is the true test for the Bears, for Brian Poles, for Matt Eberflus, for Justin Fields, Luke Getze, every name that you can imagine, they're going to be tested starting this Sunday. Very exciting to me. I don't know how well the Bears are going to do. I think they're going to do better than people think, but don't expect a playoff appearance or any extravagant season. There will be pains. There will be failure, frustration. We may have a rant or two from me during the season, but at least football is back. I couldn't be happier. That said, I have a problem with what's to come this Sunday. A lot of experts and sports books are predicting the Bears are going to lose, and not just lose, but lose magnificently. Six and a half point underdogs as we speak today, the Bears. My question is why? Pretty simple question. One word question. Why are the Bears projected to be six and a half point underdogs? What makes San Francisco so much better, leaps and bounds better than Chicago? Last time I checked, they're under a quarterback controversy. They could be committed to Trey Lance, but the fact is, Trey Lance has barely thrown a pass in the NFL. He's thrown no meaningful passes in football. None. And I say football because I include college. Barely threw, barely played at North Dakota State. FCS, not FBS. And yet, for some reason, the national media thinks and sports books think that they're just going to come in and rout the Bears at home on a rainy day, keyboard, at Soldier Field. I don't know where people come up with this. I think it's really a tactic to scare everybody into not betting the Bears, but the fact is, the Bears are going to win this game. I'm telling you right now, they're going to come in and win this. Here's why. San Francisco, first of all, is used to beautiful weather. They don't play in bad weather in December and January, the Bears are used to it. They always do. This is going to be a Bears football game. This is going to be a game that prioritizes running the football. And that prioritizes more experience at the quarterback position. I'm not saying Justin Fields is perfect or that we know he's gotten better. We don't know. We haven't seen him play a game yet this year. But I'll tell you what, I think he's going to do a much better job than people think at holding on to the football. And really, that's going to be the big key on Sunday. Who has less turnovers? It's going to be raining. Conditions are going to be horrible. Field's going to be messed up at Soldier Field in September. Pouring rain. Who's going to hold on to the football? I firmly believe Justin Fields, at the end of the day, is going to have less interceptions and less fumbles than Trey Lance will. And that's going to be the biggest factor in deciding who's going to win the game. I think the Bears are going to pull this one out. David Montgomery is a great running back. Got Khalil Herbert behind him, too. Run game's going to be great for the Bears. George Kittle, for the 49ers, may not even play, which is also going to be a big factor. So you take out your top weapon for Trey Lance, too. Essentially a rookie quarterback, away from home, in bad conditions. Now without your top weapon, potentially. And even if he does play as a groin injury, who knows if he's going to be as effective as usual. This is not going to be a game in which the 49ers just take over, like everybody's saying. Remember, Trey Lance didn't get a chance to develop last year. He didn't have his Justin Fields year, his Zach Wilson year, his Trevor Lawrence year. That's going to come now. I'll tell you what, all those quarterbacks I just mentioned, 
had more reps in college. They were all college stars. They came to the NFL. They struggled mightily. But you're going to tell me Trey Lance went to a smaller school, threw less passes in college, and, and the pros is going to light it up on Sunday. Torch the Bears' defense and have San Francisco win by a whole touchdown. I don't think so. I firmly believe this is going to be the Bears' game. It's going to be a close game, not going to be a high-scoring game, but it's going to be the Bears' game. No matter what, you can always count on the Bears if it's going to be a defensive battle to win the battle. I don't care what year it is. I don't care if this is 2022 and not 1985 or 2006 or 2018. If it's a defensive battle, bent on the Bears to win. Still got Robert Quinn. Got a bunch of young guys ready to prove themselves. Brisker, Gordon, Roquan Smith, who's back. And you're facing off against a rookie quarterback who's going to be frazzled and on top of it may not have his top weapon. This is not going to be as easy as people think. And that's the whole thing here. And you know what? Maybe the Bears do lose, and that's fine. Nobody's expecting them to win. Nobody's expecting anything out of them this entire season. You saw my video from Thursday. They are the NFL's underdogs. Season-wide, they're an underdog. Not just now. Everybody's discounting them. Everybody's tearing them down. Not saying this won't be a good team. Keep talking. <laughs> fine by me, fine by them. Donald Mooney said it. They're going to play with a chip on their shoulder. And that the national media knows nothing because they rank players based off Madden rankings. And you know what? It's true. Some of the opinions I hear from the national landscape, it's just stupid. It's as if they have no idea who the Bears have. They have no idea how to evaluate what they have. They look at Madden and say, yeah, bad team, and then move on. You could make the same argument about San Francisco. You really could. I know they got Debo Samuel, and they have a nice run game by committee. That's great. Kyle Shanahan, offensive genius. Well, if he's such an offensive genius, why is Trey Lance not developing? It's a good question. Why is San Francisco not being rated as some top team? They have a rookie quarterback, essentially. They have a guy with no experience who's barely thrown the football. He attempted less passes than Mitch Trubisky did in college at North Carolina. That's D1, real football, too. I don't buy it. I don't buy this. I don't buy the narrative that San Francisco is going to come in and mess up the Bears. It's Bears weather. It's opening day at home for the Bears. Justin Fields has more experience than Trey Lance. And the Bears' defense will make plays. Oh, and by the way, maybe or maybe not, George Kittle will even play. Put all of that together. Does that sound like San Francisco is going to clobber the Bears and win by a touchdown, according to betters? No, it doesn't. That sounds like a perfect storm, literally, for San Francisco. And for the Bears, I think they're going to take advantage and win. It's all going to come down to turnovers. It's all going to come down to whose defense will do better taking the ball away and then which quarterback can hold on to the ball better. Two, I give the advantage in everything right now to Justin Fields. And that's not me giving him too much praise for no reason. That's not me being a fanboy for Fields. It's just simple logic. I'd rather have right now Justin Fields over Trey Lance. Trey Lance has learning to do. Trey Lance needs to make mistakes to learn. Barely thrown the football. Now San Francisco saying, we're going to commit to you and not a great backup quarterback. Jimmy G got them to the NFC Championship game, and they forced him out. You bet Randy Mueller, former NFL GM on this program, he even said, I don't know what they're doing over there. And that's true. They're forcing out somebody who got them to the NFC Championship, who is an efficient quarterback. He may not be great. Not Patrick Mahomes, but he's also not Zach Wilson or Trey Lance. He's 10 times better than Trey Lance by far. They forced him out. You're going to reap what you sow here. 
So if you want to force out a proven winner, fine, but don't expect the same results with the worst quarterback. You got Trey Lance, rookie, week one, on the road, in bad conditions, potentially without his biggest target, biggest weapon, against a good defense who's used to playing in that sort of weather. Against a new offense. Against a revitalized and hungry Justin Fields. Right. San Francisco is going to win. Good one. My projection at this point is a Bears 24-21 to victory. If you're going to bet, I would bet everything on the Bears. Bears are at plus six and a half, so anyway, I'd bet on them. The Bears are not going to lose this game by a touchdown. They're just not. Everybody could say they are. Not going to happen, I'm telling you right now. This is the Bears game. I firmly believe they're going to come out on top here. And it's really going to send a message to the entire NFL. May not mean, hey, the Bears are going to be great, but it will put some respect on their season, on their name, and on what they're trying to do this year. May not be, hey, the Bears are going to win this Super Bowl. I wouldn't even say that, but it will be, hey, are not a team you can mess around with, or they're not a team that's going to be an easy win. I think they're really going to prove something on Sunday. They seem hungry, and remember, Justin Fields has a little bit of beef with them. San Francisco said, you know what? We don't like you, Justin. We prefer Trey Lance. Now it's Fields and Lance facing off. I'll tell you what, Fields is going to carve him up easily. Trey Lance needs so much work. I know he's talented. I know he could throw the ball 60, 70 yards with not a blemish, but I'll tell you what, he has no in-game experience. San Francisco has the roster and they're wasting their opportunity developing a quarterback when they have somebody right there who could win. They're making a stupid move across all levels here. And they're going to have to deal with it. They're going to have to deal with watching Trey Lance go through growing pains. Watch him throw four interceptions one game or finish the year with more picks than touchdowns. It's going to happen. They've chosen to waste a really good team for a young quarterback. Now, they don't need that right now. They don't need a rebuild at the quarterback position, but they're choosing to. Fine by me. That means a win for the Bears. If Jimmy G was playing, we saw this last year. Jimmy G played, he started, and 49ers handily won. Close game at one point, but they broke away. So be it. I would understand if Garoppolo played, I'd take the Niners all the way. Really, I would. But you got a rookie quarterback in who has barely any experience, who's playing for the first time on a season opener, who's starting in bad conditions, on the road, potentially without his biggest weapon. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I just don't see it. Don't be surprised. And the Bears win this game on Sunday. And I can't wait for Monday to recap the whole thing. This is not going to be an easy Niners win. Even if you're not a better and you're just thinking about who's going to win this game, I'll tell you right now, do not pick the Niners. Trust me, you're going to be pleasantly surprised how this game plays out. Thanks for watching today's show here at Vpod TV, channel 59.3 and YouTube. Really appreciate the time. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at John Z Sports, Facebook, John Z Glue. If you want to watch more of these show, head on over to sportstalkchicago.com. So long, everyone.